Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Hello, hello everyone. Happy Wednesday to you all. I'm getting things situated here. I hope you all are having a good day. If this is your first time tuning in here, welcome to the Makers Gonna Learn YouTube channel. My name is Becca Oaks. I am a craft producer here with Makers Gonna Learn, which basically means I have the best job in the world. I get to craft, I get to teach you to craft, and I get to spend my day with Miss Rachel, who Aww. is the voice beyond here that you're going to hear. Um, the chat is black, which I love, but it's like messing with my head a little bit. I'm sorry, this yes. is new to me too. So, I'm so, so fun. Anyway, welcome everyone. Let me know if you are new here with us today. If you are live watching and new, I'd love to welcome you. We are making a sublimation shirt today. So we have lots of sublimation going on around here. I am obsessed with sublimation. It, it is so and it's a, hot right now. It's a good obsession, guys. This yes. is a very valid obsession. It is so hot right now. I actually was just making some koozies that were sublimated like for larger cups. And um, side note, we're giving away as part of our event tomorrow. Let which, me which Let me rewind. Let me rewind. Let me rewind. We have a member only event going on tomorrow over in the private Facebook group. So if you are not a Makers Gonna Learn member yet, now is the perfect time to join. Get plugged into the Facebook group and then tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern, we have the most exciting event ever going on. We are giving away 2020 amazing prizes to 20 amazing crafters. And it's everything from a glitter vacuum to a Cricut Explore 3 mug press, uh, sewing machines, tumbler turners, MGL merch kits, paper crafting kits, felt crafting kits, like so many amazing things. We actually have a list of the things that we are giving away um, in that event. But now is a fantastic time to join because we're having that event and because we're running an amazing special on our yearly membership. So if you want to jump in um, and get $30 off our yearly membership, use the code back to school at checkout and uh, get plugged in. Let's do this. Amazing. It looks like there's lots of comments going on. Um, let me know if I'm missing anything because I'm just going to keep going. But anyway, I was making some super cute koozies that have all of our cute little emblems, crafty emblems on them. I was looking to see if I had something around here to show you. Um, that we're giving away as part of the MGL merch kits tomorrow. So I'm so very excited. Cute. Rachel, how excited are you about this event tomorrow? I'm really, really excited, Becca. I hope that we have like a gigantic turnout. I want all of our members to be there and be present. And if you're not a member, become a member so that you mm -hmm. can be present and get in, enter to win all these. Now, I know that Becca said it you know, all the rules and everything, you have to be there. So if you haven't yes. already, uh, carve out that time, guys. Make sure you're going to be there. I was super excited because we had like 450, 460 signed up or RSVP to come to the event over in Facebook. And um, our wonderful marketing email manager title, I don't know, uh, sent out an email just reminding our members about the event. And then after that email was sent out, we had another 100 people RSVP Yay. to it. So I'm, I'm getting very excited. My goal is to have 700, at least 750 people live with us. That would be amazing. Yes. Guys, giving away all this stuff. And guys, if, if you're just not, you have never done a Facebook Live or you're not really comfortable on Facebook, maybe if you don't even have a Facebook page, make one with, you know, a nickname or just your first name or something to be able to join the Facebook group and get in on this. If you haven't uh, already been into the Facebook group. It's an amazing perk of membership oh, in gosh. itself. And this it live is. tomorrow is just going to be the icing on the cake. Guys. Absolutely. Anyway, all that to say, join the membership, yes. join the live. But today we are making back to sublimation, an amazing sublimation shirt. And uh, this is a really hot trend right now. So you can see it is a bleach dyed sublimation shirt. And I'm going to teach you all about this. It is so easy. So the idea is, first of all, let's go over what we need for this. You need a sublimation printer, which is a special, which has a special sort of ink in it, um, specifically for garments, dyeing, and creating things like this. Uh, so you need a special printer. We use an Epson 7100. Mm -hmm, that's it. Yes, 7100. We also I have, didn't know 7710. 
You I are think, correct. Yes. Okay. The workforce something. Yes. Epson yes. workforce. You are correct. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we have that one. We have, we just got in a Sawgrass uh, 500. So I'm super excited about that one. And then what's the other one that we have that we're going to be converting? It's an, is this, it an Epson? This Epson? Yes. I wish I could you read, read guys. I'm blind. Anyway, um, so there's everything from like, this was under $200 machine. Anything from a $200 machine to a $600 machine. And you can make amazing um, shirts. So yes. you have to have that. And then the shirts that you need to choose have to, they can't just be 100% cotton unless you're using like a sublimation spray to prep it. And even then what I've tried works, but it's not, it's, the durability and longevity of the design are not as good. Does that make sense? Yeah. So once you wash it, it starts to fade. Yes. Not terribly, but it does. Um, so what you're looking for, the best thing that you could find is a 100% polyester shirt. If you can't find that, then find a shirt that is at least 55 to 60% polyester. So primarily polyester, and then we can create amazing designs. Yes. Now, now the rule of thumb too, guys, is the more the polyester is in the shirt, the deeper, darker your color correct. will be. So think of it like correct. that. This one right here is a Gildan. It's the soft style, and it is 65% polyester, and it comes in a variety of different colors. If you go to to jiffyshirts.com, which is where we like to purchase things, you can find very affordable shirts, a wide selection of colors, brands, uh, material combinations, and this is a super, super soft shirt. If you look at their listing, it has like the regular colors, then it also has the heathered ones. And the heathered ones are the ones that are 65% polyester. So just look at those little notes um, down at the bottom. And to be honest, Water guys, them. I don't love 100% polyester shirts. I don't love the this feel of nice. them. This one that Becca has, guys, it feels amazing. It's like that Bella soft yes. that everyone yes. really likes. It's very nice. Anyway, I got this dark colored shirt just to see what it would do because honestly, this is the design that we're putting on it. And if you look at the two together, it's sort of scary. One, this is almost the exact same color. The black is, this is so dark, like was it going to show up? And so I chose these colors specifically to show you how well it works. And for those of you that don't know, um, with most sublimation projects, with the printer it'll print it out and it looks dull okay yeah it always looks dull that's absolutely. normal yes that's it's, normal it's totally normal absolutely. you may also notice i have this giant piece of paper this is a sub paper and this is the 13 by 19 or 13 and a half by 19 and a half i can't remember which one it is um a3 paper size and we love the sublimation paper it works really well but you can also notice that our mirror or our image is mirrored here um so you do need to do that if you are printing off things so i already have this printed we don't have to worry about it don't have to do any of that and becca again someone's wondering what did you say again was the price range of the sublimation printers anywhere from right at 200 i mean you can spend thousands on sublimation printers but the ones the three that we have are between 200 and like 600 ish so. and for everyone wanting to ask and miss elena actually asked so that's a good question um she said how long does it take to get accepted into the facebook group book just because of the event happening tomorrow we're gonna have our customer service team on it way more than they already are which is yes. honestly a great turnaround it's like 24 hours but for the event tomorrow we'll make sure that we're checking it almost constantly to yes. make sure everyone is approved great question though. yeah fantastic so did you just join and are wondering how long it will take to do to join the well the group? one asking was miss elena just we know elena she's oh. here she yeah elena's here but um a good question for other people Fantastic wondering question, too yes. um you might notice the size of this paper is a lot bigger than some of the other ones so this one was printed on the epson work for 7710 i think i got those numbers right this time and the reason that i love that printer is because you can do huge prints on it so keep that in mind when you're looking at prints how big do you want them etc etc um i also have this shirt form you don't have to have the shirt form. However, it was $1.99, I think, half off at Hobby Lobby. So I thought, let's just grab some of those. It'll be really easy. And I'm if kidding. you guys do shirts, microphone. oh, I don't even think that one is fine. Okay. If, um, if you do shirts a lot, these are really thin, easy to store, and a great addition to your craft room. If you do do shirts a lot, this yes. would be a great thing to purchase. And all. then I have my large <laughs> um, Easy Press. This is the big guy here. Um, you can also just use a shirt press if you want to, but I'm just going to be using this. What is it called becca what are those big presses called she's making fun of me yes i, I might cry 
I won't cry because it it's laughable. It is. I keep calling it a turtle shell. You guys know the you know it's clam, a clam shell, shell that I keep. Clam- I even is- wrote it on this outline <laughs> thing as turtle shell. And we're turtle in a meeting shell. and Rachel's like, "Dully." <laughs> Did you see me do I that? Saw Rachel's editing. I was like. You should have just liked Guys, it. Guys, it's process. Anyway. I love it. <laughs> so we have that. And then we also have our large uh, easy press mat so that we can press our um, image onto our shirt. And then I have some heat resistant tape. I use probably way more of this stuff than I ever should, but I want to make sure my images aren't going anywhere. And then I have bleach and this should be in a glass bottle. I know we didn't have a glass bottle, so I just put it in here and I will take it out when we're done with this. Um, this is just straight bleach. It's not diluted. A lot of people like to dilute theirs. That's fine. Some I'm people use that. like super fancy sprayers. I've seen people yes. dump a lot of dough on some fancy sprayers. Use whatever you guys have. Absolutely. And the way that a lot of people like to do these, if they're selling them is sort of like an assembly line so that they'll get all their shirts out they will put the images on the shirts press them on there and then put their shirt forms in their shirts and sort of just lay them out in their yard so becca with this method you put the sublimation on the shirt before you bleach it is that correct 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 okay now why do you do that is there a reason i i have a reason and it is because i'll show you in a second but if i were to bleach beforehand and then put my image on, I would have to be really careful about where I place the bleach so that my image is just sort of in it correctly. Now, I got a little happy with this one. This was the first one I had done. So there's extra bleach out here, whereas I would have just kind of wanted to make like a uh, drop shadow almost. Oh yeah, like, like a little offset. bit of an offset. Yeah. Oh, um, neat. So that's what I'm going to try to do with this next one. Um, but if you want to just kind of make it a, a rectangular bleach um, section on your shirt and then add on top. You can do that too. However, I've watched some videos and seen some comparisons and it's not like one looks better than the other as far as color. So if I do the bleaching first and then add the sublimation, it, it isn't necessarily brighter if I if I do that first. Does that make yes. sense? Yes, yes, it does. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, Miss Amy Mary is here. She says, hello everyone, I'm new to the group. We would like to welcome you here, Miss Amy. And if you're not a member, I want all of you viewing to be a member. I want you all to be able to be entered yes. into win all the amazing things we're doing tomorrow. Plus, we keep talking about tomorrow being like the big reason to join. Guys, we have thousands oh, of cut files and fonts. Yes. We have a free commercial license. We have printable guides and uh, just so much. We have so much fun stuff, but it is one thing we've never done before, which is the event tomorrow night. So we're really excited about yes. that. If you're not a member, become one. Definitely click the link below, Miss Rachel, or she's also put it in the, uh, the comments. So find the link if you need it again. We will post it as many times as you need it. Um, have I missed any questions or anything like that that I need to go over? I don't think there's any. so many questions about the printer okay it's what? there's just a lot like what is the price range between the biggest one is it worth it to get a bigger one people love sublimation yes i do yeah are or do we have friends who are chiming in on that or should i address it let me see okay here. Amy Go ahead. just got a monthly membership. Yay! Oh, welcome, did she? Amy. Welcome. welcome. Make sure you're in the Facebook group. Yes. Amy. Go join. Uh, you can address if you think it's worth it to get a bigger printer because I think that is something that we might be able to touch on. Is that blanket in here? I can go get it. I don't know where it's at. Do you, do you care to grab it? No, that? I can go get it. Okay. So I, I personally, if you're just going to be doing like mugs and shirts and koozies and things like that, I personally don't see the need in getting a huge one because like the sawgrass and then even the Epson, the new Epson that we got will print up to, I think it's 11 by 14. And honestly, that is that's big enough it really is however i made this really cute blanket it's a member only video that i did showing you all say hi to rachel uh, i did a member only video showing you all how to make this and it is larger than the 11 by 14. so obviously it's into different pieces i did this was one piece the cat was one piece and each of the paw prints were one piece, but these are all 19 inches long. And so if I had had a smaller printer, I wouldn't have been able to get 
this exact look. I would have had to piece it together differently. So it depends on what you're going to do. If, like I said, if you're just doing shirts and tumblers and things like that, the ones that will do up to 11 by 14 are plenty big enough. So totally up to you. Guys, how cute is that blanket? Is it not adorable? And anyway, by the way, that's a member only. Has yes. it, it has been released. I was yes. going to say, guys, this is a member only video that Miss Becca made. It is amazing. So the process of watching her sublimate on like that big of a surface was incredible. And did you know, I teach this in there, um, you can, because you might be thinking, uh, yeah, that's great, I can print that big, but all I have is just the standard um, larger easy press, how am I going to press that? You can overlap. You can't do that with infusible ink, but you can do it with sublimation. So you could like overlap and, and if you're careful, not have any shadowing or anything like that. So um, member only videos are videos that are released with each collection that we release. So we release three collections every single month here at Maker's Gonna Learn. Uh, two are cut file collections and one is a font collection. And then with those cut file and font releases, we also give you project videos so they are start to finish videos no chatting no selling anything like that it's hey welcome we're making this these are the supplies you use this is how you do it wham bam thank you ma'am that time of thing type of thing um and anyway. Becca, Miss Robin said, I'm afraid of sublimation. I'm scared I'll be too limited on things to use it with. Am I weird, she said. You're not weird, but no. here's the thing. If you just search sublimation blanks, you're kind of going to be overwhelmed by all the things that you can sublimate. I mean, it's everything. It's book covers, it's earrings, it's uh, ornaments, jewelry, um, Guys, I have been, cases. I have been overwhelmed. Becca has actually opened my eyes on so many more things that you can sublimate, sublimate on yes. it's really amazing the world that it opens i wouldn't say it's like competing against vinyl honestly guys it's like its own ballpark it is its own thing you do not have to use uh cricut design space with this in fact if you want to make it any larger than 6.75 by 9.25 you can't use cricut with it so it's just like a whole different thing it's really incredible in my opinion you're not really limited at all because you can almost always find a blank to use with sublimation for the project you want to create. I'm going to answer one question before we get started. Please do. Because I know, I know everyone's going to get it started. Uh, look at the difference between sublimation and fusible ink. So this is a very common question. We actually just had this conversation in an in a, a employee meeting beforehand. Uh, the difference in infusible ink and sublimation. So sublimation uses a printer to print. So I am not limited at all as far as color, texture, um, definition. I could take a picture of Rachel right now in all her glory, put it on my, co my computer, print it out, and it will print out like a normal photo, and then I can put it on a shirt. That easy. With infusible ink, you are limited in the fact that the sheet that they give you is one color or just a pattern. So you can't, you can't do like, all of this if, to, to achieve this right here first of all you couldn't do this gradient back here unless there was a infusible ink sheet that had that gradient but you would have to place this then place this then place like four layers here with your infusible ink because it's it's like vinyl in that it's just sheets that are pre-done pre-cut out does that make sense yeah the the final product however if i were doing a solid black iggy mom only that with infusible or with sublimation and printed out just that text, put it on a shirt and compared it to just a solid black infusible ink Iggy Mom text, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference because they are both transferring ink into uh, a polyester based um, material or coating. Does that make sense? Yes. Hopefully yes. that was a good explanation. Becca, can can one use can Miss Christina use her mini Easy Press for sublimation? I wouldn't. It's not ideal. Here's why. If you move your sublimation sheet at all, you're going to get shadowing, which means it's going to look like it's the photo was taken here and there was just a little crossover here. And you're going to have to move that mini easy press a whole lot. Uh, I, unless I were just doing something tiny, I wouldn't try it. Uh, but if you do, let me know. <laughs> let me know how it goes. Okay, let's get into this. So I already have my sublimation image printed out here. I'm just going to grab some scissors. Oh, how did I get this this big? If you're only using Design Space, 
don't only use design space for sublimation. Uh, I actually put all this together in Illustrator. You can also use Inkscape or Canva and then saved it as an SVG and printed it out. SVG or PNG, whichever one you want. This is a PNG. Um, and then printed it out so that I could size it larger than that 6.75 by 9.25 restriction that Design Space gives you. That being said, I do have to hand cut it, which is not a big deal because I don't have to get close. All of this white space around, all of this white space around um, doesn't transfer over, so it doesn't matter how close I get. So that's really nice. And Becca, can you repeat the type of shirt we're working with today? Absolutely. This is a Gildan, I think it's called Super Soft. Let me look really quickly. Soft Style, excuse soft me. Soft Style. Gildan Soft Style. And I think... Do you know what it reminds me of? It was under $4. Of? You know those next level shirts that yes. we have like raved about that are like 12 bucks a piece? Super soft This is nice. what it reminds me of, guys. It's yeah. so soft. And Becca, we had a question what the temperature is on your Easy Press for today. Fantastic hey, question. I'm getting there right now. I do have my Easy Press preheated to 400. Great question. Now, I am just going to lay this shirt out here and try my hardest not to take 45 minutes to get this even because you all know how I am. I want it to be perfect. We're just gonna go with it though. I'm so excited okay. about this shirt, So I'm just guys. gonna flip it over here. Mm. Kind of size it down there. I don't know, Rachel, you may just have to wear a crooked shirt. You know, Becca, it's okay. Okay, so now that I have that here, I'm going to grab my heat resistant tape and just tape around so that it doesn't move. And Becca, this is a really fun question. Let's hear it. Sandra says, what is MGL? MGL. I'm new and I want to get the 30 day course. Yes, amazing question, Sandra. So MGL uh, Makers Gonna Learn is a die cut community and we offer, I, should, I do it right now. Should I show her the website right now? Totally up to Let's you, Let's do it right now. Okay. Since she's asking, we will, we will let her know. Our website, so if you get membership to Makers Gonna Learn, you have access to our entire website, which gives you our library of cut files and fonts. So we go to makersgonnalearn.com. It will come up in a moment. We are already logged in, but you can see here, we have our member only projects. So you'll click on that and they are categorized by uh, cut file type. So um, you can, let's just go to Adventure Weights here since it seems to be my favorite. Um, and then the projects that we created come up there right here. You can click on those and watch start to finish tutorials on how to create them. And then here are all the cut files in that collection. And if you are a member, you can download every single one of these cut files on our entire site all of the fonts completely um, it's included in your price there then we have the courses that are available to you we do have is it 10 rachel 10 free courses i think it's 10 or more i think it's okay more than 10. Um, and then in those courses are the 30 days to master your cricket course that you are talking about it is an amazing course that helps you from opening your cricket to creating your first project it gives you the terminology all of the information on the tools um, what you use them for the differences in vinyls literally everything that you need in order to get started with your cricket and be an absolutely amazing crafter in addition to that, we have more specialized courses that are available, like how to applique using your uh, Cricut, how to use resin, how to make felt rolled paper, and all of this is with your Cricut, giant paper flowers, introduction to sublimation, um, and then you can view all, and there are more there as well. So all of this is included. We also have, if you click cut files, you can see the library of cut files here and they are categorized. So you can click on the categories and see which ones come up. Or if there's something specific that you want to search, you can use the search bar there. We also have our fonts. And then we have an area for tips and tricks. And my favorite part is our dashboard. Our dashboard houses all of the PDFs and printouts and things like that that you might want um, that will help you under resources you can look right there for those and then we also have our craft challenge and then access to facebook group there so hopefully that gives you a um good overview of what makers going to learn is about um click through let us know if you have any questions um i hope you join i would love to have you okay back to our amazing sublimation shirt i have it taped down here 
I have my easy press heated to 400 and I'm just gonna go ahead and press this. So let's go ahead and put it on here and I'll push this down. I'm going to do for 50 seconds. Am I covered in the front there? Thanks. You look like you're okay. covered. Completely. I'm putting down some good pressure. Um, that's one thing, the advantage of having a clam shell press. What? No tar <laughs> Over this is that it puts the pressure down for you. And they say that at, to know whether or not you're having enough pressure, you should put a sheet of paper in the press. And if it cannot come out, then it has enough pressure. So think about that when you're putting pressure on these easy presses to apply your sublimation. Um, have I missed anything? You have not. Okay. Now, Becca, when you reveal this, what's it going to look like? Garbage. You're not going to be able to see anything. Okay. Good to prepare yes. us. Good to prepare us. Yes. Now, would we be able to see the like the bleach working in action? Like, would we be able to visibly see it get lighter? How long does that process take? Once I put the bleach on? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure inside. Okay. But outside, it's almost instant. And I wish really? I could take you outside. So what oh, I yeah. think I'm going to do, it's sunny right now. Um, so what everyone who does bleach sublimation um, recommends that you try to do it on a sunny day because the sun will speed up the bleaching process. It gives you that white, I saw a comment earlier that they couldn't get their bleach to turn the white color, it just stays yellow. If you'll do it outside, that helps considerably. That's awesome to know. Yes. Now, Miss um, Carol said, will that bleed onto your Easy Press since it wasn't protected? Since what wasn't protected? Your Easy Press heat plate, I'm guessing. Maybe she thinks the ink's gonna come through the backing. Oh. No. Yeah. I think you I've never had to, that happen. I've never used had that happen. to using like a butcher's paper, but you yeah, don't have or to do Teflon that. sheet or yeah, something like yeah. that. Yeah, I I never do because I haven't had that issue. Um, because the paper that we use is really good. Now, if you're just using like regular copy paper, you might have that issue. That's a great something for you to test. Test out definitely before. I agree. Yes. Um. Oh, and I'm just going to share with you because you you might not know. Um, my, my, one of my best friends didn't know either because Becca made me this shirt, guys, and I've sent it to, like, all of my friends. Uh, this says Iggy Mom, which Iggy is the type of dog that I have. It's kind of like a nickname for an Italian greyhound. So Becca made me this shirt that says Iggy Mom, and so that's what it means if you're wondering. Yes. And the font that we've used, Becca might have already said it. I haven't it. said it. It is banana pudding. Now, you guys like it when I say banana pudding like I did the other day, but... That's what it is. So FYI, everything that I used here is a maker's going to learn, going, gonna learn. <laughs> Try to be too proper. Yeah. Gonna learn cut file. So the little Italian Greyhound is a cut file and I just removed one of the layers. And then this paw print is a cut file. I did import it and change the gradient in Illustrator. So those are things that we love to be able to teach you all as Design and Excel students. Um, and then we also have this banana put in uh, font. So I've just layered them all. We have lots of people who say, how do you, we need, we need sublimation cut files. We need sublimation cut files. We're friends. All of our cut files can be used for sublimation. Yes. Just layer them and create your own amazing things, which will put you above all the other sublimators because they're using all the same cut files and fonts. They are. There are specific sheets that they're purchasing to put it on or, or specific de designs that they're printing out. They're not doing any of the design work, which sometimes will work to your advantage. But if you have something different to offer than everyone else, you're going to be seen more a little bit, I think. Um, anyway, so we have this sublimated. It's very dark. It looks a little scary, but I'm going to go ahead and move this over and then I'll put my shirt form in my shirt just like this if I can get it in here. Becca has made me fall in love with sublimation guys. She has oh, been sublimating sublimation. so much. It's kind of ridiculous. It's so much fun though. I love the um, the new possibilities it kind of opens up for sure. So I think what I'm going to do unless unless we can uh, we'll see what happens. I don't think we're going to have the super change that I want to see in here. So what I will likely do is put the bleach on here and then I'm going to step out right next to us and put it in the sun and then I'll come back and talk to you all. Um, but you can do you can do the bleaching a variety of different ways. Get, get a sprayer that has a decent spray on it. You don't want to stream, you want to spray. So a big spray, does that make sense? Um, and then 
you can do like some little accents around the shoulders and the arms and things like that. Today, I'm just gonna go around this design just to show you all what it will look like. So um, I'm gonna do kind of close because if I do it out, then it gives a spray, an overspray, and I don't want an overspray. I'm just gonna kind of just spray right around the design just like this. Like I said earlier, I want it to sort of look like an offset. And for those of you just joining, Becca, oh my gosh, look. Yeah, it's already Becca pink. got this large because we didn't use Cricut Design Space because it's so limiting. Um, so yeah, you just use whatever, you can just use your own computer. It can usually print things large if your printer can, so use whatever you would like. And let's see, Rodney said, when I started uh, last year during the pandemic, I got a Cricut Joy. Quickly followed that with an Air 2. I've received so much information and education from Makers Gonna Learn. Can't thank you enough. Thank you, Rodney, that's so sweet. Okay, I'm moving this outside right now. You can see it's already changing, but in order to get that super white, we're gonna need to move it outside. Oh, baby, so go, Becca, go. Go, Becca, go. So, like Rodney, it has gotten so much education from MGL. You guys join, join the group, join the party, get all of the motivation, inspiration, education you can. Use that coupon code back to school and get $30 off. Please yes. do. Mm -hmm. So this is what it's going to look like. Hopefully I did, I oversaturated a little bit. So when I went to put it on the ground, a little bit came up. So that's going to be interesting, but you guys will still see the magic. It's super fun. Um, let me go ahead while that is, I love the hand gesture demonstration of the spray. Oh, the this yes, that's good. I don't know how else to do it. At least I didn't give you one of my amazing sound effects. Oh, they're yes. all the same. I don't really know. I've seen people use a paintbrush to to use a bleach. Have you ever used one? Yes, I have done that. Um, you can definitely control it. However, I like the see how it's sort of misty up here. I like the look of that as well. So just whatever look you're going for um, depends on how how you apply the the bleach. Yes. Um, it's so fun and so much easier than vinyl. Kimberly, what I love about sublimation and even infusible ink over vinyl is just that um, it doesn't peel up. Like I love vinyl because that's what got me started into Cricut and all of that world, but it, I don't know. I don't love the way that it feels when I'm wearing it and it just doesn't last as long. Does it bleach lighten the sublimation color? That's a fantastic question. So I'll show you in just a second. You saw the difference in what it looks like versus now. So what it's doing is eliminating the shirt color so that this shirt, or so that the sublimation ink can come through. Um, that would have been better. What else did I miss? I'm assuming the bleach didn't affect the sub. Yes, okay, fantastic. I'll yeah. show you in just a second. Um, I wish we could be out there. Oh, I wish I we could have like a detachable camera where we could run out there for you guys. Kat says, still boggles my mind that the bleach doesn't mess with the shirt design, but it does the shirt. Yeah. I know it's amazing. Without the bleach, how can you get the design to be so colorful? Great question. Um, you will have to use a light colored shirt that is primarily polyester. White obviously will give you the most vivid, amazing colors. However, you could use uh, like a light gray color and get some amazing colors. Um, one, I can't remember who it was, but one sublimation person online had this amazing uh, chart that showed the differences in like the different colors. So if they sublimated this on a yellow shirt versus a pink one versus a, you know, whatever that way. So it was amazing. Um, Did you bleach all around the design? Anna wants to know. And this one or the, uh, the other one? Either, both. I did, I did all the way. Yes. On both. Yes. Um, Would a UV light work on the bleach? I think so. I don't know. I don't know if it's part of the heat. That, that'd be a great question. That is really nice. And that's cool. Test that's that out. Nice. Yeah. I would I think, think so. It would. I think it would. Yeah, I would think so. Have you used Caesar for dark shirts? Sublimation for dark shirts? First I've heard of it. Yeah, I've not heard of that. I've used, we've used the printable vinyls. Yeah. yeah. For dark shirts. Uh-huh. Um, can you please link the shirts? They seem to be sold out everywhere. I look, did, is, is there a link for it? Which one is this again? The, this is the, it's from jiffyshirts.com. It's mm -hmm. the Gildan soft style, just unisex. Thank you. Thank you. Uh-huh. 
Elizabeth says, yes, I have used UV light actually. Amazing information, thank you. Um, if I wash the shirt, will the bleach eat through the fabric like it does if I spill it on my shirt? We have not found that to be true. Um, I haven't had any issues with that and I haven't found that other sublimators have issues with that either. Um, how do you get your pictures big enough to go on your shirt without cutting it in half? Amazing. Our printer will print 13 by 19. Um, other sublimation printers will do around 11 by 14. So look for a printer that will print big enough for you. Yeah. Um, you'll pay for them for sure. But um, if you plan on doing a lot of sublimation, I think you'll like it. I don't think we've had any regrets on buying such a large printer. If you wanted to do a big design and only have and have only a letter sized printer, can you sublimate in pieces while affecting the previous subbed pieces? So if you wanted to take this exact design and like, well, lock your fours, blanket. Yeah, what you would need to do is, I guess, cut out like you would print this part and then maybe this part and this part. However, if you took this exact thing and just did it into fours and then tried to like piece those fours together, like you'd have to be a ninja in order yeah. to get that to work. That might be a hair difficult. Yeah. Do you soak it in anything after you bleach to stop the process? I just rinse all the bleach out. Great question. Um, Miss Rachel dropped the link for the Gildan shirt for you all. So if, if you needed that, then go ahead and grab that. Um, does hydrogen peroxide sprayed on design after bleaching stop the bleaching? Um, I just rinse mine out in water. So I'm not sure if it does or not. I have never tried that. How long does your ink last on the shirt? Or in the printer. Or in the printer. Let us know, Elena. Good question. Uh, okay, let me go see what the shirt ooh, looks like. I'll be right back. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Go, Becca. Let us know. Let us know. Guys, how many of you have already clicked and joined to be on the live stream tomorrow in the Facebook group? Who has went ahead and uh, clicked? The <gasps> oh, Look my at this. oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at this, friends. I'm going to fall out of my seat. Is that not insane? Oh my gosh. Insane, right? Look at this. So you just sprayed bleach on it, yeah. took it outside, sat it in the sun. What happens if it's not a sunny day, Becca? Then it will take longer to work. Okay. Okay. I don't think I got bleach right here. Do you want me to do that or do you want me to leave it as is? Whatever you want to do, Becca. No, it, but it's your shirt. What sure, you spray, do? spray okay. her down, Becca. Okay. I could sense you wanting to anyways. Mm -hmm. Look at all these Look at all these comments. I love seeing it. I want to see every one of you. Every one of you signed up for Makers Gonna Learn and clicked join to uh, that live tomorrow. I want you all to be there. 8 p.m. Eastern time. Be there, guys. You Amazing. Have to be there. I'm putting it outside again for you, Rachel. Oh, here we go. Okay. Thank you, Becca. You're welcome. I appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Um, and Megan, that is just what is on the actual um, shirt form. That's not on the actual t-shirt. Don't you yes, worry about the, that. Yes. The, the shirt was so white. It was yeah. or wet. It was going through the shirt form. Yes. Um, is that one looks brighter. It does. It does. It I looks a lot it. brighter. So what happened with this one, because I was just testing it out, was I um, bleached. What did I do first? Oh, I just did this over spray right here. And then I was like, oh, I don't really like that. And then I went back in and bleached it again. And that created a lighter image here. So I'll only do once, if at all possible. Becca, yes, Rachel. Where do our friends go to make sure that they're going to be there on the live tomorrow night? Let's go on over there. Hold on, let me get signed in really quick because that okay. takes me forever. Let me switch it back password. to you. Okay, fantastic. So I'm going to show you once you are in the private Facebook group. Rocky on. Top Heart said, "I've told everyone not to disturb me tomorrow." <laughs> That's too funny. I love that. Good, good. You need to make sure you're having your you time. I Just don't tell that. everyone else. Like I said, let your let your puppies out. Give your husband some uh, some snacks and go in your craft space. Um, Crystal's asking the same question. You guys are amazing. Becca is going to share with you uh, exactly where you can go to make sure. If you're I there. can remember my password, I if she can so remember ridiculous. her password. Praise She's God. She's in. Praise God. She's in. Okay. Mm. We're going to Makers Gonna Learn, the Facebook group right here. And we will 
scroll down. If you're on the desktop version, it is under more. If you are on the mobile version, then you will kind of swipe to the right once you see about discussion announcements and then you'll see events there. So on the desktop, go to more, press events. And then you can see right here, 20 giveaways of 2021 that you can't miss. Yes. And right here, where mine says invite, edit, etc., you will have a going, maybe going, or can't go. You want to press going. Please do, guys. And we had a question, how long would the live be? We don't know. We've at never least, done something like at this. At least an hour, mm -hmm. probably closer to two hours. As long as you guys have questions and are here and are excited and we have things to give away, we will be here. Yeah. So, yeah, just settle in with some coffee and some snacks and get ready to have a great time. Anyway, go there, RSVP. You can see we already have 584 going, 28 maybe. Uh, so I'm very, very excited. And I have, you can get an idea if you have missed the lives where oh. we've shared what we are giving away. Here is a list. <gasps> and actually I have an error and I need to go back in. Um, I forgot to add the 3D pin on here. Oh my gosh, Becca. So I may get rid of one of these MGL merch bunches, bundles and put the pin in there. So That sounds anyway. like a good yes, pin. Yes. That's amazing. I, I want every one of you there plus another hundred. We need at least. I want 750. We want you all want here. Yeah. We want you all here. Anyway. You have to be present and uh, there and commenting. And I'm just so excited. I'm so darn excited. Me and Becca's going to be here tomorrow. Very close to our bedtimes. That's how much we love you. That's how much we love you. It's going to be so, so fun. So again, if you're not a member, be one because you don't want to miss out on these giveaways. We've never done this before. Never ever. done it. Ever, ever, ever. So it's going to be amazing. Yeah. Become a member. If you if you can't afford the yearly right now, which is $30 off using the code back to school, um, that's definitely the best value. If we do understand, however, sometimes that doesn't work out. So if you want to join and be a part, you could still do the, the monthly membership as well. Okay. You said you needed to go make sure that the 3D pin was added into the list. And Michelle said, you just want to keep it. <laughs> Oh, it's so funny. I've not even played with it. I'm giving you one. I bought it for us to play with, and yeah. then I'm just giving it away. Wow. It's not oh, even goodness. open. No, so it's sad. not. It is so sad. So sad. And Amy, Mary, we will make sure that our customer service team is going through and checking all of those. As soon as we get off here. Yes, yeah. all those Facebook approvals to make sure everybody is in to be able to view that live tomorrow. Yes. Absolutely. Yes, Christina, everyone hit the like button. And if you are not already a subscriber here at the YouTube channel, go ahead and hit subscribe. My goal, Rachel, we're at what, 422 subscribers? Yes. We have a very lofty goal. Our next goal is 600,000, and I would love to reach 600,000 by Q1 of next year. That would be amazing. I would love that. Right? Can um, I tell you why? If we hit 600,000, then we get a Disney trip. We get to go. Guys, I've never been to Disney World, and we're going to get to go if we hit 600,000. Should I like come, come over there with you and Disney. start to cry? Maybe if I shed a tear. I think that might help. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, if all of you watching are not subscribed, please subscribe. We give incredible free content here on the YouTube channel. Yes. And we like to say, if you love the content you see here, you will adore the membership and everything we yes. have to give. Because if you guys aren't here and you're not continuing to get memberships, me and Becca would never be able to be here live with you. And how sad would that be? Yeah. So the number one way to support everything that we do is to join and become a member of Makers Gonna Learn. Yes. Join in on the phone. Yes. Anyway, friends, I've had so much fun. I was so glad to get to do this video with you all. Thank you for joining. And I hope and pray I get to see you over tomorrow in the member only giveaway live event that we're hosting at 8 p.m. Eastern. Please join. Please join us there. Very excited. Thank you all so much and have a fantastic day.